A bone marrow transplant can save a life. 30% of patients are lucky enough to find a match within their immediate family. But the vast majority rely on a donation from a volunteer registry. And that registry is lacking ethnic and racial diversity, making it harder for patients of color to get the life-saving treatments. 7 Action News reporter Amira David breaks down the disparities and introduces us to a Metro Detroit family now waiting for that miracle match. Ryder Washington is like any typical six-year-old boy. He loves to show off his monster truck collection. Let me see. And his TikTok dance moves. But unlike most six year olds, Ryder has an appreciation for the simple things because he's forced to endure days that are far more complicated. He woke up one morning and he was just covered in blood. It was a year ago when Ryder lost his first tooth, causing abnormal blood loss that sent him to the ER. They told us that he was diagnosed with um, myelodysplastic syndrome. Also known as MDS, it's a blood disorder rarely found in small children that typically leads to cancer. And to slow the progression or to prevent it, um, we would need a bone marrow transplant. Because no member of his family is a 100% bone marrow match, Ryder has had to join a waiting list and hope that he matches with a stranger who's willing to give him the gift of life. One, two, three, four. But it won't be easy. A person's best chance of finding a donor is typically with someone from the same ethnic background because of the genetic similarities. And despite a registry of 22 million potential donors, people of color are still heavily underrepresented. A look at the numbers show if you're a Caucasian patient, your chance of finding a match is 79%. If you're Hispanic, those odds go down to 48%. And if you're African American, your chance of a match is just 29%. Your odds appear to be lowest if you're black. Why is that? We have the lowest percentage of black African-American donors on the registry, so that's an issue of awareness. Swab the other side of your cheek for 10 seconds. The National Marrow Donor Program says awareness is a huge component and has been particularly challenging during the pandemic with face-to-face -face recruitment limited. We haven't been visible. We haven't been around in African-American communities sharing the message. Unfortunately, the slowed growth hasn't helped the troubling health disparities. How long on average could a minority expect to be waiting? You know, on average, if you're Caucasian, it's about six years. Compare that with Black Americans whose average time waiting on the list is nine years and 12 years if you're a Black male. Ryder, who's already been waiting for about a year, doesn't have that kind of time. What's been the hardest part of all of this? The hardest part is just keeping things normal for him and our family. Today, the family is pushing through the pain by leaning on each other <laughs> and on the hope that more people will invest the five minutes it takes to find out if they're a match. Do a little research. Really, um, just a small gesture could save a life. Maybe even the life of Ryder, the boy who's now in a race toward one simple goal, to keep smiling and bringing smiles. Show me how you dance to this. To everyone he meets. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Look at the dance moves by both of them. Anyone age 18 to 40 years old is eligible to join the Be The Match registry. All you have to do is text Save Rider to 61474 and a user-friendly swab kit will be sent directly to your door. That number is on your screen as well. To learn more about the process, head to our webpage, wxyz.com.